Hey guys, I'm Nancy and I'm a stylist here at Lulu's. In today's video, we will be going over Helix Piercings 101, everything you need to know. A Helix Piercing is a piercing done on the upper outside cartilage part of the ear. The term Helix anatomically describes that part of the ear. So technically, the industrial is two joint Helix Piercings. And that is also why the forward Helix is called what it is because it's on the forward part of the helix. Your whole ear is made of cartilage, so this isn't best described as the cartilage piercing. Next is the healing process for the helix piercing. This piercing will take six to eight months to fully heal at least. Not properly cleaning this piercing or sleeping on it can extend the already long healing process. So please take care of your piercings. Now onto the starting jewelry that you should get pierced with for the helix. When getting your helix pierced, you do not want to start off with any hoop jewelry. You technically can, but you shouldn't at all. A hoop earring does tend to move around a lot and it will definitely prolong the healing process. And it is more prone to snagging onto your hair and anything else, which can lead to piercing bumps and irritation. Any type of stud earring will be best. Preferably a flat back earring to prevent snagging from your hair. Hats, sunglasses, and hair bands. Anything you accessorize your head with, including masks. You should be given a longer post for your jewelry to allow room for swelling. When is it time to downsize from the long post you got pierced with? When the swelling has gone down and your ear is healed halfway, which takes anywhere from one to three months most of the time. You'll be able to downsize your jewelry to a regular shorter post. Switching out your jewelry prematurely can and most likely will prolong your healing process. So do not do that. If you aren't sure if your piercing should be downsized, go to your local piercer you trust and have them take a look at it. They will let you know if your piercing is ready to be switched out, or they will tell you to wait a little longer to do so. And if not, they probably will tell you how much longer you do have. Be sure to have your piercer's approval before downsizing or switching out your jewelry. The reason to downsize this piercing on the halfway mark is because if you wait the full duration with your long post in your ear, it will most likely snag on your hair and everything else we previously mentioned. It can and most likely will start growing in a different direction as a result. So make sure to downsize the piercing when it's one to three months at least halfway healed. And finally, onto the aftercare of this Helix piercing. Make sure to clean this piercing with a saline wound wash twice a day, front and back. Do not put alcohol, peroxide, ointments, oils, creams, potions, and serums. Only use your saline wound wash spray because a lot of the times what works for one person won't work for somebody else, like tea tree oils. So just use your saline wound wash and you'll be safe. You can spray the site directly. No Q-tips or gauze is necessary. Unless you're wiping excess solution that's not on the piercing site. And here's a couple tips if you're planning on getting this piercing. Obviously, avoid sleeping on it. Be careful when changing your clothing and washing your hair so you avoid snagging the piercing. If you plan on getting your hair done in any manner, make sure to do so before to avoid your hairdresser from snagging the piercing as well as getting any chemicals in or around the ear, which will also cause irritation. Do not over clean it because that can also cause complications as well. Other than that, don't play with it, don't mess with it, just let it heal on its own. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click here to watch more.